Just before we move into our first major conversation for today, let's share with you what happened on this day in history. We've spoken a lot this morning about insecurity and killings and murder and, you know, headers and Boko Haram and whatnot. But mm. on this day, of course, um, in 2013 was uh, yet another of those incidents where 42 uh, kids were killed in a college in Yobe State. It's a place called Gujba, uh, the College of Agriculture in Gujba, Yobe State. Um, the report says that um, at 1 a.m. that night, Boko Haram um, in terrorist stormed the male dormitory of the college and started firing their weapons. Um, it says about 42 people were killed, about a thousand of them had to flee into the forest and into the bush, um, you know, to, to save their lives. They had driven there in uh, Hilux vehicles or some, uh, you know, two vans, you know, the terrorists had come there with two vans and opened fire at the mainly Muslim um, uh, students in that uh, college. Um, it was, of course, one of the saddest, saddest days in Nigeria's uh, history. I remember that we had woken up that morning to hear these stories and it felt like it was a dream uh, because this, you know, just was not something that was easy to imagine, you know, also remembering that these were just kids uh, that were killed on that day. Um, and, of course, the stories started to eventually come out, you know, to show how it happened and how people were in their sleep when, you know, they started to hear gunshots and, you know, uh, weapons being fired. Um, 42 people eventually lost their lives on that day in 2013. Sad, sad day for Nigeria's history. And it's so unfortunate that, you know, that time, you know, like you mentioned, we didn't see these kind of incidents you know, too often. But now it's become too frequent that it's almost, we're basically losing track of just yeah. how many of these attacks are happening on any given day. Uh, I don't think so, we'll so ever sad. be able to keep track, to be honest. You know, mm. I think there's too many of them that are unreported, too many kidnappings that are also unreported. Um, there is unconfirmed reports uh, that uh, um, Dr. Chike Akunyili um, was killed yesterday. Um, we're going to be following up and, of course, we'll bring you further mm. uh, details on that one once it is confirmed. But, you know, like I said, there's too many of these reports, um, even here in Lagos and Benin, everywhere. There's so many that are unreported. I don't think that any agency would be able to properly keep track of the number of lives that have been lost All right. um, in the last couple of years. Mm. So stay with us. Our next major conversation is about power generation in Lagos, and we'll be speaking to the Commissioner for Energy and Mineral Resources in Lagos State.